is it special? There are a number of factors. Most importantly, being together, being together to create the vision of the company along with the staff and our colleagues. How does a family work together? By starting at the grassroots of the company and learning how to not only respect the company, respect all the contributions that everyone makes to the company. This way they have a stronger foundation to take a leadership role. A family business is based on understanding one another, having clear communication, having a passion for the company, having a vision that we all share and a commitment to ensure that we grow not only for the family, but the full family of Zanin staff. So for me, a family business is about the next generation of success. The, the, the generation that will take the foundation and make it that much better. A family business is about continuing the family values that I've hoped that I've already accomplished, but make them even better and making them also with the, with the younger generation of colleagues that we have and creating longevity for all of us. The City of Toronto has dynamically changed for a number of reasons. When I started the company, it was cosmopolitan to a certain point. Um, it had a number of ethnic communities to a certain point, but today it's so international, so cosmopolitan, so diverse, so unique, that not only is Toronto a leader in the Canadian industry of economics, of fashion, of design, it is one of the top ones in all of North America. Not only have we grown in population, we've grown with diversity of people, all bringing together uniqueness that makes us even more special. So the city of Toronto has grown in population and there's, there's, um, there's dynamics of that that doesn't really impact Zanin because a lot of it is residential design that is high towers, low budget, non-unique products. But at the other side, the diversity of the city has brought us to a point where international exposure of products that we provide is available to the financial community, to the high tech community, to uh, the uh, pharmaceutical community, all of which, and the academic community of which so we believe is a target client base. So we've grown as the city has grown. We've become more diverse as the city has been more diverse. And our staff is more diverse and more unique and incorporates multiculturalism as well. And that's what the city brings to us, those benefits. That's a broad question. There are multi-steps involved in the answer to that. One of them being that Yes, we are second generation Italians, but our parents on both sides, my wife and mine, um, brought very traditional values from Italy. And those values stayed with us even much longer than native Italians maintained those values. Um, their heritage was important to them, became very important to us. Our food, our style of commitment to uh, the family, all comes from the Italian heritage, uh, as there are many other heritages that do the same thing. But to the point that we made sure that all of our children got Italian passports, they're dual citizens. And we felt that that was something that would be dynamically uh, available to them, uh, uh, accessible, that opened different doors, as well as um, allow them the flexibility of travel. Uh, to the point that one of our daughters currently lives in Florence, Italy, and using her, uh, her dual citizenship to her advantage there. Um, we also believe that, that the values of our citizenship and our culture will continue into the third generation as well. We see our children already with their offspring talking about the Italian values, so we're very proud that being of Italian European descent has uh, brought to us uh, element of culture that is long-standing uh, because Italian culture goes back for thousands of years with the Roman Empire and we're very proud to be part of the whole culture itself. 
Well, Italian nationality goes hand in hand with fashion, design, quality, craftsmanship. And in our business, we've set ourselves in a separate niche than other lighting manufacturers. We're after a client base that appreciates all those qualities I said to you earlier that Italian nationality brings to you. Um, we feel that it allows us to be more unique. We're not a standard. We are an exception as far as how we go to business. And uh, we're not tied into this whole conglomerate style of business. We're, we're, we're more reactive, more unique. And Italian background is thrives on proprietorships. It thrives on entrepreneurs and it thrives on people willing to make investments uh, to be different, willing to make investments to uh, bring their design and their thought process of design to reality. And that's what Zanin does. We collaborate with partners all over Europe, all over Italy that do that. And today for us, uh, we bring that same vision to the North American market, making us uniquely different than other lighting manufacturers. Well, it allows us to, allows me to um, interact with the Italian ownership because of understanding their, their, their thought process via their culture, having the same culture. We, we, we can appreciate uh, commonality in, in discussions, allows more friendship. Friendship allows more camaraderie in doing business. And when you have camaraderie, uh, you find all the solutions. So having that Italian cultural background that's common to both uh, myself and my partners in Italy allows us to succeed together. See a vision, explain the vision, adjust the vision, and collaborate to succeed. Being passionate is really is a DNA. Um, I've always had this uh, commitment to excel in the, everything that I've done from academics to athletics to being an entrepreneur and running a business. It's self-driven. It's something I enjoy doing. I enjoy the multitasking. I enjoy finding ways to be 1% better every day. I find it uh, important to improve my leadership with, with, in all sectors that I collaborate with my staff uh, in all different departments. It's something that I really, really enjoy. I really enjoy seeing things organized, um, seeing things that have a, a uh, simplification, uh, ease of doing work, uh, so that we as a team are more successful. And my goal is obviously uh, to have all families involved in Zoom be successful. So it really comes down to how I see my responsibilities as a leader and how I need to improve. And even though I've been doing this for over four decades now, I'm still learning and I enjoy the fact that I'm learning. The biggest challenge in the lighting sector is the supply of lighting from all over the world that comes to North America. Not only are we faced with the manufacturing base in North America, we're faced with everyone wanting to come to the largest, so-called largest, market in the world for product consumption. Um, those are challenges that are difficult. Uh, those are challenges though that are um, something I embrace of wanting to tackle. But differentiating ourselves and reacting and adjusting is very, very important because what you were good at three years ago doesn't mean that you are going to be good at it now with the onslaught of competition from around the world. Price is always a factor. There's always somebody lower, especially when you're dealing with dynamics of international supply into North America. But we, at the same time, keep finding different sectors to grow in, keep finding clients who are very loyal to us because of the quality of the service, the design, and the reliability that we offer. So even though there's a lot of factors in the business that impact us, I think we've always gotten better at improving how we supply product, uh, lowering our costs, making us more efficient, and bringing to our clients the best product at the best value. The 
most important lesson is one of being flexible and being willing to change and modify. Uh, not necessarily leaving who you are in your planning, but recognizing that planning is a process. The plan is not as important, but planning is important. For me, um, that probably ties it all in that you need to make those adjustments. And if you do make those adjustments, longevity does establish in your business. My greatest achievement as an entrepreneur in business, not on a family on a personal note, is the fact that I have had many long-standing employees work with Zinni. That to me probably is the best uh, by far. And not only staff and colleagues, but also uh, business partners from Europe. And having them work together for a long time brings a lot of joy in establishing um, that kind of long tenure. I don't think I could say any of that would happen if it wasn't also the, the ability to have a wonderful relationship and advice from my wife. Uh, she's been there every step of the way of raising our five children, but also helping me or sounding board or giving me suggestions of some of the plans and ideas because I always plan, I always have ideas and I, I don't always act on all of them but I filter through them and she's been a wonderful help to that and so to me those are the things I'm really really proud of.